So if we're taking a look at the passing of a low pressure depression, the first thing we're going to notice is we've got a big low pressure with tight isobars and we're going to have an associated warm front and an associated cold front. And what we want to think about is what is happening if we're in the track of the system, experience the passing of the system with the warm front followed by the cold front. So I put myself down here ahead of the system and we have our approaching warm front followed by our big cold front. The first thing that we are going to, maybe we're going to have a little bit of sunshine to begin with. And the first thing we're going to start to see is some high level wispy cloud invading from the west. That is our cirrus. That high level wispy cloud will start to become a bit layered, giving us zero stratus. That layered cloud will then become a slightly lower, slightly thicker, giving us alto stratus until eventually we have a nice thick, thick layer of cloud. This is our basic stratus layer. All the while that this is happening, our pressure, our barometer, our barrel is going to be going down, while our temperature is going to be going up, because we've got the warm air making its way in towards us. Eventually as we start to get the the warm front passing over the top of us, uh, our stratus cloud is going to turn into a much bigger layered cloud with a little bit of precipitation. Kind of light but lengthy precipitation giving us our nimble stratus. As the warm front passes, the rain will stop. Depending on how far away we are from the center, we may get a little break in the cloud. It may continue and we're going to see our barrel is being low, a barometer, our pressure is now low, so we're the closest to the centre of the system we're going to be, whereas our temperature is going to be mild, because we're in this kind of warm air sector that's, uh, that's travelled to us up from, the, up from the tropics, this northern hemisphere example. What's going to happen next is the cold front's going to hit us and we're going to experience this towering cumulonimbus cloud, maybe a bit of thunder and lightning. Torrential, torrential rain, squally conditions, big changes in the wind, huge vertical distance in the 
and the depth of or the height of the cloud there. And as that cold front passes, we are going to have um, our pressure, our barometer is going to have a sudden rise, whereas our temperature is going to have a sudden drop as we go from that, that warm air sector into the cold air sector. And then finally on the back of the cold front, um, we may start to get um, the odd the odd shower, the odd squally shower. There may just be a small cumulus cloud around. Um, you may even start to see the sun come back out. And our pressure, our barometer, is going to be slowly rising, whereas our temperature is going to be cooler. And that's the basics of the passing of the, the weather during the passing of the low pressure depression. Um, finally, we can just have a little look at what the winds are doing. So for this northern hemisphere example, uh, we're going to see winds kind of start off coming from the warm sector in a kind of south southwesterly direction. As the warm front comes over, you might start to see the wind uh, veer around into a kind of more westerly direction until as the front, as soon as the front hits, you're going to have a dramatic shift so that the wind starts coming from the north northwest. So you have a, a northwest wind, a west southwest, and a southwest wind. And that, folks, is the passing of our low pressure depression in the northern hemisphere.